Hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. Today I'm going to do a tarot reading for the upcoming new moon in Taurus. And due to the general nature of this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the others. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I also have coffee cup readings. You can go ahead and check them out as well. All right, let's get into your reading and let's see what's coming up. We're going to go with three different themes this reading. This is the first one is what's coming new. And the second one is what are you letting go? What is actually going to be resolving? And the third one is the good stuff and the surprises. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, celebration. That's new. This can be also, this is the um, three of cups. Can mean two different things. One of them. Okay, we have... I'm going to pull up another card because in Cancer reading, we have the Knight of Cups and King of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a new love coming for you. What's new? And if you're not really looking for love, I feel like maybe it's just a new celebration. Okay. What are you letting go? Wheel of Fortune. We have the Temperance. And here, Six of Swords. You're moving on to a new and better future for yourself, okay? You're letting go what's not serving you anymore. Or maybe expectations and just getting to relax into wherever you are right now. And let's see the good stuff. Okay, we have the Three of Swords, which is actually healing from an emotional situation that you experienced in the past and um here we have the seven of wands which is telling me the good stuff is even though you feel like there are actual lot of things people places the things are attacking you you are minding your own business and growing your own ball here okay growing your own yarn ball that's us just saying in my language that's what they say you know instead of growing some other person's yarn ball you grow your own okay let's get into what's new these are some coffee cards i designed them this is not for sale uh i just made them so i can actually uh, use these whenever i'm not doing the coffee cup readings okay let's see I told you we have here Three of Cups and we have a Knight of Cups, also King of Pentacles. Three of Cups symbolizes, um, like I said, a celebration or maybe a reconciliation. Like if you had someone in your past, um, they might show up and you might have the celebration with him or her. Or this might be your family, friends coming together and enjoying a beautiful event that is going to happen very soon. I have here the rabbit card, which is rabbit symbolizes fertility, growth and wealth. Uh, so this can be a new job opportunity, new financial opportunity is going to come up in your life, which is a new horizon we have here. Um, a new thing is going to show up, which is going to be very a fertile very abundant and if you're manifesting a child recently um this might also symbolize that a new baby is coming up and you're gonna celebrate with this with your loved ones let's interpret these guys here if you're manifesting love like i said we have a knight in shining armor cancer Pisces, scorpio and we have a very strong powerful personality towards uh can be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You are the Pisces. This might also represent you. If you wanted to have a relationship with someone, if you have somebody, uh, you know, in your mind, feels like maybe you're going to actually get in touch with them because we have the letter up here. This is actually symbolizing communication and connection. And you're going to be connecting with this person at this time. If this is not that what you're manifesting, if you're not manifesting love, this is actually showing that you're going to start uh, getting this emotional fulfillment and you're in a strong spot, which this actually affirms that. A king of pentacles affirms that you're in a very strong spot and this is the new thing showing up for you if you're not feeling like you're in control eventually this new moon is going to bring you 
a lot of good control, okay? I see the Knight of Pentacles here, and uh, he has his wolf uh, showing up, and he looks powerful and strong, and his wolf is actually uh, representing his power and strength as well. Also, uh, dogs, uh, I'm going to interpret it as a dog, um, are a symbol of loyalty so uh, if this is love you're manifesting this person is very loyal very stable financially emotionally also if this is a friendship or a new job opportunity whatever it is it's going to give you a lot of emotional fulfillment and it's going to put you in the position of the king of pentacles you're going to receive a lot of success a lot of um stability and also if like i said if a new job this is going to be a very loyal environment for you new horizon says it all it's a new beginning okay what we have here what you're letting go is you're moving on to a new future okay we have here a very beautiful a wheel of fortune temperance as a balancing your energies and we have the six of swords okay let's see what you're letting go and like you're leaving the past behind okay i can see you're leaving the past behind and with that energy as soon as you leave the past behind you move on to the new uh shores you're manifesting a beautiful um view of fortune the things are going to start to work on your behalf immediately okay uh balance and temperance is actually telling you balance your energy i see a legal accomplishment here we have the crescent moon represents legal accomplishments so if you have been going through a legal case or maybe you had this um contract that you signed and you want you don't want to obey that anymore and you've been going through this legal situation can be even like a family matter that didn't resolve maybe an inheritance that you didn't get your part of this is telling me uh, you're moving on from that even if it's not resolving on your behalf you're moving on from that and you are uh, actually finding another thing that you can put your power and strength on okay you that you can depend on and like i said i see whale here whale actually represents communication um connection also on the other hand you know when you watch this like uh las vegas movies and the casino movies whales actually represent very wealthy people so either you're becoming this wealthy person as soon as you let go whatever is holding you back this legal thing is resolving on your behalf and you're balancing your energies like you're uh, you might feel in the beginning you might feel a little bit depressed and like not uh, what's not serving you might just weighing you down but eventually you're finding a middle ground to make yourself feel better with this temperance you're balancing your energies and feeling better and this also represents sagittarius fire energy but in a controlled sense so you're actually going to start taking actions which action can be your thoughts ideas the way you think as well those are also some sort of an action and when you start changing the way you think the things are going to start like coming rapidly we have the wheel of fortune right here and the whale is actually representative of wealth and um, you're going to be accomplishing your legal like you're getting your legal accomplishment okay good stuff and surprises we have the swords uh, three of swords three of swords is actually uh, represents heartbreak okay but you can see this heart is mending even though you have been going through a lot of like um you have been through uh maybe hardship you wanted love and didn't come to you or whoever came didn't serve you and this is very like a very upsetting scene when you look at this but whatever this is you're mending your heart you're moving on and this is the good stuff no matter what it is and we have here the world card the world represents full circle this can be even like a health matter because when i see the snake i that just represents kundalini energy to me so if you have been going through like maybe health matters and like the things are not really going the way you want them to be you are actually coming to a full circle a time is whatever this is a cycle is in the past now it's closing up and you're actually moving on from a situation or a place or the things this is actually perfect representation of this you're closing a cycle maybe you have been through uh, a lot of heartbreak and the people that are not really serving your highest good and the places maybe a job that didn't really serve you well you're leaving this in the past and um i feel like you have here defensive energy ace of seven of aces like seven of 
um, wands actually, not aces. Ace is means wands in Turkish. So uh, we have seven of wands here. So when you're moving on, you might feel a little bit defensive, okay? Uh, this always happens, like usually happens, not always. This usually happens when you're actually leaving your past behind. Sometimes you get defensive, okay? Um, that is very normal because this is something like you're changing who you are. When you change who you are, your reality changes, okay? You have been in the past maybe a people pleaser, like maybe a obedient to the things that is not really serving your highest good and now you're changing yourself you're just claiming your power and this might make you a little bit defensive when the the other people when they show up a uh, new people you might be a little bit defensive because you have been hurt in the past and you don't want to get hurt anymore and this can apply to any situation and uh, maybe you are being a little bit defensive, but it doesn't matter because this is going to serve your highest good. You're defensive, you're being defensive, just gathering your energy is actually going to create something much more beautiful. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. And you're gathering your energy, being defensive, not sharing your energy with energy vampires anymore, and just gathering it up so you can use it for your future. You're going to start focusing on something that serves your highest good. I feel like you might get a new hobby or maybe new job opportunity, even like a new um, profession that you're just going to find your true self that is going to serve your highest good. And with that, you're going to, you know, you're going to start finding like whatever is serving your highest good, you're going to find um, who you truly are, okay? And we have a full moon here. Full moon represents wish fulfillment. And we can see this pentacles actually looks like moon phases. So this is a double approval that you're going to find something that is actually going to give you a lot of joy. And with that, I feel like you're going to be making a lot of money. This can be energy healing because she has like herbs here and she has books and like um, aloe vera. This can be about like medicine or maybe cosmetics, you know, they make uh, creams out of aloe vera, which I love. Maybe you're going to find like a secret recipe of like aloe vera cream and you're going to create this amazing rejuvenating creams for your people, you know, can be amazing. I will definitely buy that. Okay, let's see what's the oracle card. Okay, inheritance, which I mentioned here, that might be an inheritance issue. The door further, okay, so uh, you pass through this, you know, darkness, whatever this is that you went through, you're going through the dark night of the soul, you're you're leaving it behind and there's a new door showing up for you and this inheritance is actually telling you either you're going to inherit literally some if you're expecting expecting an inheritance that will actually show up this legal accomplishment is can be that or this is some new information can be related to the new profession that you're going to be actually uh finding for yourself the new talent that you're finding for yourself that can be an inheritance from a shaman or maybe like a biologist a chemist you're gonna get this information and this inheritance and it's gonna open up the new door for you very soon all right guys that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye